The door of history swings on really small hinges. I think we've all heard something like that said before. I want to tell you a story that occurred about four years ago. Uh, many of you who know me personally know that for a period of time, a short period of time, I served on Vail Mountain Rescue, which is responsible for backcountry rescue uh, out of bounds, so places where the ski patrol would not go. And about four years ago, there was a young man who decided to go snowboarding one day, went off the backside Blue Sky Basin, went down into Lime Creek without realizing that you couldn't get out of there, and uh, night came. And he happened to decide earlier that day that he was going to wear a hoodie because it was going to be a reasonably sunny day. So he was wearing a cotton hoodie. He was wearing uh, light clothing. He didn't have great gloves on. And as temperatures started to drop, there was only one thing that saved his life. And that was that he was a smoker and he happened to also have his lighter in his pocket which he was then able to start a fire with and stay warm until he was found. Now, I didn't play a big role on that mission. That's why it's a great story. My job that night was to go get pizza for everybody that was involved. But his rescue only happened because he was able to survive for a period of time because of one small decision that he had made earlier in the day, whether that small decision was for better or for worse. So. I want to talk about uh, two quick books, which you should probably read if you haven't read already. One's called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. The other's called The Slight Edge by uh, Jeff Olson. And both of them posit this idea, which is we really can't think about things that are years into the future. It's very difficult to plan that far out. So we have to control what we can control, which in and of itself usually are the daily decisions that we make. Jeff Olson puts out this great example about a cheeseburger and about how small decisions over a period of time can drastically affect your life. If you and I, every time we saw someone eat a cheeseburger, if they dropped over dead and fell out of their seat, what's the likelihood that we would choose to eat a cheeseburger on a daily basis? Probably pretty slim. Same holds true for other things, you know, like, uh, like smoking. You know, if we, every time somebody lit up a cigarette, if they instantaneously caught on fire, we likely would not see people smoking as much. Well, obviously, that doesn't happen. The world doesn't work that way. It's a series of small decisions compounded over time that end up deciding where we will eventually arrive. So here's the problem. If we rely on small decisions on a daily basis to help us get to where we're going, we have to somehow realize that those small decisions matter. And the issue is, is that just like with the cheeseburger and the cigarette, if it's a small positive decision, we don't receive feedback right away that what we're doing is actually going to matter in the long term. For instance, if you're someone that starts to save a couple hundred bucks a month, that first month may not look like you've really had a major success, but in month 50 or in month 100, that's when it really starts to compound and you realize that your small decisions have made a big difference over time. So what am I talking about here beyond small decisions, beyond small good decisions? Well, here's the thing. Most people right now are doing what I call majoring in the minors. They're getting really, really good and putting repetitions in on things that do not matter. Just like a baseball player when he steps up to the plate, gets down in a stance, does something stupid with his baseball bat, people on a daily basis are going through a routine for many things that in the end will not give them what they actually want. But they're in that routine for a very specific reason and that reason is because of comfort. We do not like to feel uncomfortable. We do not like the idea of being uncomfortable and as a result we tend to not stretch ourselves even on the smallest of tasks. So if you happen to be one of those people that's ready to get a little bit uncomfortable, what I'd encourage you to think about is on a daily basis what are the small things that you can actually control? Can you carve out half an hour a day and do something that's just for you, that's just for a goal that you find to be important. And if you can do that, here's my challenge. Do it for 100 days. 
And if you can do it for 100 days, what I know that you'll find is you'll start to see some feedback. You'll start to get results. And when those results occur, take it to another level, go 500 days. If you can do anything a thousand days, you can be wildly successful in things that you never imagined that you could be successful. So that's the video of the day. Small, simple decisions compounded over a long period of time. See you later. Let's get it.